Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultras Playing Dead Cells. I was going to start maybe another series, but I kind of want to get this mouse pointer off the screen. We've done, we've, it won't let me, it's stuck on the side of the screen. Hang on, let me try something. I will alt tab, I will move it away, I will alt tab back. Is it away? I don't know. Can you see it? You can see it. Ah, oh, what the heck ever, it's staying. Uh, I was, yeah, I was thinking of maybe playing a, another... Let's, yeah, let's try a shield. Maybe another... Um, right, you have to do the thing where you right, press the buttons that... Uh, series, maybe a different game. I haven't really decided which game I'm going to want to play, but uh, uh, there's several, and at the same time, I'm not really ready to... I'm not ready to commit, okay? Look, stop trying to force me into things I'm not ready for. I didn't pick up my money. Did I? Did I really end the last game with no money? Excuse me. Uh, if this is an oversight, then I apologise. And this, if this is me literally ending the previous game with actually no money, then I also apologise, but retrospectively, here we go. Look. Found it. <laughs> At least I get to apologise for a mistake I made in this episode. And not just that, but I noticed. So... Um, yeah, you can't you can't persecute me for a, a hangover, a miscarriage of justice, or whatever you want to melodramatically call it. Press the buttons that are the correct buttons. I played Fallout like one time since then, and now we're on this nonsense. Let's go a uh, survival build because uh, does this hole contain anything? Because I want to. I've got a shield. Let's try and make it work. It does. It contains. Ah, uh, heck it. Just take it. Don't really feel like min-maxing a drumstick on the first level if it's all the same to you. Rapier uh, is better, I think, than a blood sword, which is worse. So, yeah, there you go. Worth the money, in my opinion. Die. And then... Oi! So I'm going to try and get the hang of these shields. We had a little bit of a, a chat uh, about... I had a little bit of a chat. It was one of those things. This happens between me and James all the flipping time. Um, we start talking about something, and then uh, half an hour later, we're going, this would be a great podcast. We should have recorded this. Um, and this time, of course, it also involved Carl, as you all know, because everybody's heard of Carl. And if you haven't heard of Carl, he's a friend. I have those. So screw you all for thinking otherwise. What was that? That was fun. Uh, we, we're talking about the merits of these various games. James says that he got bored with Dead Cells, which I can understand. Um, if you're still watching, presumably you are not yourselves bored with Dead Cells. Um, I'm not, but that's not to say that you have to be not as well. Oh, tempting for a thousand gold, isn't it? Let's, um, let's not and say we did. James prefers Enter the Gungeon. Which I have played some of, thanks to him, quite honestly. Uh, because he doesn't use his Steam account enough, so I steal his games. Um, but I, I don't get on with it. I'm not good enough at it. That's basically it. Uh, I suck at that game. Let's go and get the treasure, because we're already late for the timed door. Uh, uh, Ed? Ed? <laughs> Who's Ed? Oh, Ed. Remember Ed? Ed was the guy who got me a recording in the first place by being there on the UNI Play channel, which you all have uh, seen before. You remember Ed? Who's Ed? What a silly thing to say. <laughs> Let's do the other path since we're next to it. That's really annoying that that critical is really bad damage still. But that's fast though. What is the special of this shield? Blocks attacks while charging forward. That seems dangerous to me. Let's not go that way. Um, Carl, not James. Oh, I, God. Oh, rewind, start again, think before you speak. Which, <laughs> think before you speak does not work because then you have to stop speaking. That means dead air, which means people don't like your videos. So you just talk crap until you are done. Um, not Ed, but Carl. Let's talk about... I think we're both talking about Dead Cells, actually. I don't remember if Carl had an alternative game in all of these. Oh. This is a survival one. So even though I spent money on the previous one, I'm going to change. I'm going to pivot. 
as they say, I'm going to swivel. Um, James doesn't like that you have... By the way, how do we use this? Several targets at once, right, okay. So we just have to strike several targets at once. Um, explode is better. There we go. Uh, the, like, Dead Cells has a lot of repetition in it, which I can understand leads to boringness, but I think the key point about what James had a problem with, that's a survival mutation, and you are a... a you're a survival build, and that is not a survival mutation, you plonker. Um, in order to progress, you have to do the early bits over and over again. Which is true of all of these roguelike games. What was that? But um, it doesn't... He, I guess he thinks it doesn't seem to apply to... That's nice. I really like that, actually. Um, it doesn't necessarily apply to... Gungeon, because Gungeon has maybe... Why did you have to move... Stop. This was not worth it. <laughs> did you see how hard that was to do? How are you supposed to hit that guy if you're going to walk into the spikes whenever you do so? Um, more to learn maybe in the first areas. More progress early on, I guess, is uh, a lot of the point there. And... In Dead Cells, you have to fight quite a lot of basically trivial enemies. Well, they say trivial, but I'm incapable of fighting them, apparently, myself. Um, in order to progress to the bosses, which are the things that actually require practice. The other point that was brought up... Let me see if I can remember how to phrase this correctly. Um, is that you are basically forced into a build... But the end, the bosses themselves are best countered with certain builds. Um, but I guess the point is that it seems like many bosses are countered more easily with the same builds as each other. Whereas, um, help, you, your choice of build is vast compared to the number of actual, you know useful ones and the prevailing wisdom apparently on the internet is that shields are the best build whereas if you aren't good with shields tough right Does that makes sense so maybe shields are the best way of beating all the bosses maybe they're not maybe a strong melee build is the best way of beating all the bosses blah 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 whichever one it happens to be you don't want to be forced into a playstyle that you're not good at just to progress. You did not get hit. That was outrageous. I'm very upset. How did my swing not hit the fucking dude that was supposed to die from it? Roll. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with all of this. That's the thing. I'm trying to repeat uh, sentiments that were discussed over breakfast early in the morning. I'll say early in the morning. Oh, thank you. Um, which, I mean, I prefer Dead Cells over, uh, uh, I was going to say Darkest Dungeon, um, Enter the Gungeon myself, so there must be something that I find good about it that it does not appeal to James. I mean, obviously, it's not like he disagreed that the play style itself is not somewhat satisfying, and you know, it's very smoothly rendered, and the flow is great, and it's somewhat easy to play in the immediate sense but it's not easy to play in the skills gaining sense nice help um sort of over time like once you why are you allowed to do that it's a ludicrous amount of damage there we go um i don't know again it's hard for me to express the sentiment that i didn't really understand because i have the same opinion sort of about the, enter the gungeon, right? I, it took ages to get to a boss, and then I couldn't do it, and then I died. Whereas in Dead Cells, it almost feels like the s skills that I'm using... Can I parry that, by the way? Well, that's fine. What? All of those had an exclamation mark, and I managed to parry none of it. Um, let's leave. Let me out. Kill nearby enemies first. No. 
Um, sorry, my brain just turned off while I was trying to get through all that. I found Gungeon as annoying to get through as James is saying that he finds Dead Cells. It was interesting. Because I didn't like having to get... At least in Dead Cells, you get the same enemy again. Does that make sense? Like, why, why go through an entire random run and get a different enemy from the one we got last time? Uh, I mean, boss. So it takes you several goes just to get the hang of the first level's boss. Oh, let's press RB here, because otherwise <laughs> we end up days on the floor. And then... But, I mean, it's the same for this. But at least when you get to the first boss, which is the concierge, it's always the same boss. But then, as Carl was saying, you just scum it. <laughs> it's the same boss in as much as if you get there with the ability to scum it, you are going to scum it. Can't really do much about that. I guess I could have used a, uh, a skill there. I just ignored it. That's the other thing. I was pointing out you don't have to kill everything, and James was pointing out that the zombies were annoying. And then he said you don't have to rush through it to get to the... Are you expecting me to not be able to... I don't... I don't understand these spikes. I've yet to calibrate these spikes. As far as I was concerned, in that situation, I was about to climb up the pipe. I was further away from the pipe than I needed to be to climb the pipe, and the spike hurt me. Or maybe it just snaps to a... I don't know. Ow. Let me out. Not sure about that. Uh, that war spit was a little bit difficult. And those things didn't die from my grenades. Let's keep playing. We've only been there for 10 minutes and I've been going on about other games. What are you talking about other games? There are no other games. So James has a, a, a preference for Enter the Gungeon, which I don't share. Let's, let's try something new. I say new. Let's try something we tried before and we like. I don't know if I like that, actually. Wait, what um, what bow do I have? Quick bow. Right, so the second the second arrow hurts it more. Bird arrow. That's no good. Die. Okay, good. Wow, that was terrible timing. Guess i got to work on my timing. It's the secret of comedy. Rohypnol. Um... I agree with all of these, which is why I like The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> because a run in The Binding of Isaac can last as little as 20 minutes, and then you get to do it all again. Because the more you practice, the more you... Ow. Um, the more you can get through it quickly, which may be true of these games as well. Maybe that's the point of avoiding all the enemies. It's not just that you have to... I mean... You don't have to kill these enemies, especially when you don't need cells anymore. Which I do. I don't like either of my weapons, by the way. Kind of regretting not taking the uh, the shield. It might have done something for us by now. Um, you you can power through the levels and get to the next bit. You know the the boss, and then you can power through the boss and get to the next boss. Because as, as you get better at fighting the boss, it gets easier to do so. I mean that stands to reason. But like my experience of it has simply been that. I am now better at fighting the concierge with whatever I happen to be playing with at the time, like whatever build I have, I can probably beat the concierge. Except in like exceptional circumstances. Whereas I have no chance against any of the other enemies, uh, bosses because they're so far away. I mean, arguably, all the other enemies are so far away, right? I can't... I don't know how to fight many of the... Um, Later floors. Ooh, sandals. Push his enemies back and interrupts their attacks. This will damage if the enemy hits a wall. 61 DPS. I'm going to try it because Carl said it's fun. But um, apparently they're not really very well appreciated. Whee! Small bag. Left his bag behind him. Must have been in quite a panic. Shiny pebble. You're not going to pick that thing up, are you? 100 cent. You said it was worthless. And I got 100... See things from it. I said see things like it was a rude word. I didn't mean it to be a rude word. Just, um, I don't know what it stands for. Uh, I mean, I don't like this either, so sure. Cannot be sold. Of course it can't. 
So let's find an actual enemy so we can test these Spartan sandals. And let me get to that. Ah, that's pretty cool. It does say extra damage when an enemy is up against a wall, but it doesn't say that much damage. Christ, that's a lot. And it interrupts their attack, which means it's basically a parry. It doesn't actually count as a parry, though, so you don't get the benefit of parry things. But now, it's, it's a new playstyle already. Uh, excuse me? Can I kick you? Yes. Does it still hurt you? No. Interesting. Give me this. Nice. Um... I mean, that's what I'm liking about this game, is that it's new now. I'm thinking that maybe if I play it too much, if I get to the point where it's as... I don't want to say it's trivial, but I kind of mean that, as maybe Gungeon is for James, who's played it a lot, um, the enjoyment then comes out of the actual appreciation of repeating it, which is Isaac for me. I'm at this, that stage in Isaac where I can repeat... Ooh. Yeah. You can get rid of that. I don't need that. Repeat Isaac runs until I'm blue in the face. And in fact, ooh, a scroll. Maybe I am in, in considering actually uh, maybe pivoting or at least adding Isaac to the list when the new expansion comes out. So look out for that. Um, but, but people don't tend to have quite so much of. They don't have anything bad to say about Isaac, basically. <laughs> um, I do. It's really, really easy for an Isaac run to just be a complete hogwash. Like, you can get nothing throughout the entire run. These, this game, right now, the the Dead Cells of of Law, is, why am I not using these teleporters? Uh, it, it almost seems like every single item that you get has some value to it. Even these Spartan Sandals, which people say are terrible, seem to be doing some, some damage, enough damage for me to be able to play with them, which is why I'm leaving the broadsword behind, because I want to try it. Whereas in Isaac, you can just go through the entire game and just get nothing but... Like gimmicks. <laughs> All the items are gimmick items. The last kick inflicts an area of effect damage and pushes enemies back. The last kick when killing things, maybe? Doesn't really say. Damage to burning target. I, I want to keep the explosion, so I'm not going to. Oh, yep, I need to take a mutation. Let's see if we can do something like this. Skills. DPS. Well, that's no use. See, I never know which ones to take here. I want freezing. <laughs> give me give me freezing as a thing. Alright, let's take at least two enemies near you. So I'm playing this game. James played Gungeon for a while. I think he did it on camera for you and I play. And you can see this different playstyle. Like I find that Gungeon lasts too long. You can take up to an at least like an hour to get to the dragon. If you're capable of getting to the dragon in the first place, which I'm not, because I'm bad. Let's see if I can keep these keys for the entire game like last time. And then. Um, you know, I, I'm no good at the game, and then I don't get any better at later levels or even earlier bosses because there's so many of them. That makes it sound like I should not like Isaac because, of course, there's a random assortment of. Excuse me? of items and bosses at the start of Isaac as well, but it's so much easier to get through those levels. It takes like a minute. Someone's left a cow's head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. He carefully traced the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. That seems rude. The faithful likeness of the king. To a glory of our illustrious ruler. We'll skin you alive. A brave and courageous message. Can we get through here? Is there anything here? No? That's fine. I'm, I wasn't expecting anything. That's okay. You know, don't pander to me, just because I'm your player. Player of games. I do like the uh, rolling past these things. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Let's say perps, because why the heck not. And please let me have some skills. Nice. Uh, where is my Majuda that is making things bad for me? Can't really kick very, very often, actually. That's um upsetting. 
You have to sort of wait for the kick to recharge itself. You have to wait for him to put his leg back in position. Get out of here. Not even interested. I do like the explosion, which is why I kept hold of the uh, the the modifiers that were already on my ice blast. Because see how much the enemies take damage when they're sitting on the remains of a previous one. Oh, mate, I don't even need to do anything myself, which is good because I don't have any skills, which didn't help me in the last game anyway. So whatever. It's going to be one of those ones where I do terribly on the first one. There you go, and then really well after that. So it's a really long run with a ten minute waste of time at the start. Sure, waste of time. Not not entertaining. No. Why would I consider my own content? I wouldn't make it if I didn't think it was entertaining. I could buy something, but that's a three. And they burn. Let's do that. Nothing here? Please? No? No? How much money have I got? Go on. See what we got. Heh. Why not? Who cares? Get on with it. Let us continue because time's a wasting, boy. I'm never gonna get any of these, uh, these, uh, these uh, time doors if I keep going this slowly. I do like to be a bit thorough, though. Nothing wrong with thoroughness. I'm a thoroughbred. Die! Where are you? Get in. Oh, I don't need to. That was a really strong stomp. I was about to chuck a grenade at them. It's a good thing it went badoop and told me I wasn't allowed to. As if I'm not allowed to. Get out of it. Let's go a bit more reds because eventually we might end up with some... A full red build, which would be nice. Hello. Of course, if you're not going to give me any red scrolls, then that's a different matter entirely. Dog's in bed. Don't worry about it. Jen's away at the theatre. It's my first night. Uh, looking after a dog all on my own. Never had to do this before in my life. I'm 34 years old and I've never looked after a dog. Not even somebody else's. There's nothing else here. We will go back. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's a puppy, right? That's the thing. If it weren't no puppy, if it were a proper growed up dog, I'd be out with it. I'd be down with it like all the cool kids say I should be. But I'm... It's... I don't like children, and that applies to dogs, <laughs> basically. Where's my uh, root thingy that has the... There's another king. How many kings are there? I'm looking for my root thingy contained in the, uh, the extra last key there. Not that I need it, I guess. I think it's just going to be money up there, which might actually be valuable. Most of the time I just go through this run not using any of my skills or anything. This sandal's okay, but it's very short range. Nice. Somehow I made it through that. Secret discovered. Hounds have done it? I don't think that thing saw me. And where is my secret? It's up there. How did you find that? I don't need it. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you just stay stunned? Per Whoa, what is happening? Suddenly new mechanics that I've never heard, seen or heard of. All the things are dying... For me, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. Oh, an elite. There's nothing there to grab. Oh, there is. It uses balloons when there's nothing there. I did not know that was a thing. Ow. Nice. Run away. Nice. <laughs> I didn't even mean to get that elite. I just had to destroy the thing next to it. Yeah, sure. Extra... Extra thingy in colour and also... What? Um, where is the rose? I don't see it. Have I walked past it? Probably walked past it. Last time I mentioned the rose, I was on top of it uh, and still didn't see it. But I didn't know what it looked like then. Now I do, so I've got no excuse. Die, die, and... Okay. So I don't know. I do like this game. That's a little bit better, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but that's just because I'm not really used to Gungeon. I tried Gungeon. I felt it a bit slow. Um, but then I've played this game enough that it's not slow in that regard anymore because obviously I've unlocked so much stuff that it, you know the ball keeps rolling. It feeds into itself. The rich get richer, that sort of thing. So 
the more I play this game, the less I'm going to want to play another game where I have no progress whatsoever. I'm really going to have to go back and look for that other key. I don't have to, but who wants to see two gardener's keys just hanging out on my hotbar for the entire rest of the game? That doesn't seem fun at all. Ooh. Yes. I'm sorry to my Frost Blast, which is probably my favourite item. Uh, at least it's my favourite uh, elemental effect. But like, what are you going to do? This is an infantry bow. It's amazing all the time. That nearly failed to dodge because of my bad timing. Ow! Get out of it. And you. Uh, it's not quite good enough yet, so we're going to have to improve our infantry post sometime. Although, mind you, Trail of Flames is finishing things off nicely. I want to get the key because it's bugging me that there's still an extra thing to do. Let's have a look for it. Oh, it's there. Is it this? No? This looks like it. Hello? Come on. That's the thing, no? Does it look different? Hello. This one? Nope. Apparently there's more than one of these routes. Oh, heavens. Heavens to Murgatroyd, I'm leaving. I'm going to the easy path because I'm tired of the difficult path. <laughs> oh, I don't need that money. No one needs that money. Let's get to the ram parts and uh, parts and ram. Oh, it's quarter to 11. I'm going to have some Dr. Poivre. Medicine Poivre. Excuse me, I thought I had two mutations by now. Where's what's my other mutation? Why is it not on my hotbar? Do I not? I'm very confused. I'm sure I have two mutations. That's how this works, right? Let's put these in here. I might want some of these crossbows in the future. Can we reforge something valuably? A shield and use is actually really good, I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's fine. I like a toxic cloud. Any more, like, random DPS is great. Uh, apparently. Oh, apparently no, I only have one. Um, we're definitely doing a red build, so let's go... Oh, I've got poison now. Perfect. Cool. Right, I like it. A uh, bit of HP. Didn't use the flask, which is a first. Could have, but I didn't get down to that sort of terrible badness of health, so I didn't need to. I'm okay with it. This is going fine, actually. It's... It's making a bit of a long video. Hope that's okay. I do like to try and keep them short, but at the same time, if it goes well, it goes well. There's nothing I can do about it. So quit your whining. I'm hoping you are rooting for me, because that would be the good thing to do. Hey! Get off! Say that to the dog as well. All the uh, extra dots and stuff are just finishing off the enemies that little bit more nicely. So I don't have to worry about them. Things like that. You bastard. Get out of it. Also, rolling past something and then kicking it does not work. It's not really like the uh, the rapier at all. Um, I didn't mean to... I don't want to... I didn't mean to climb on that. I want it to be down there. This happens too often. I find the combat very satisfying, but the actual moving around the world mechanics... Kind of pesky, if I'm being honest. I'm already at the point where I'm thinking of using my flask, even though in the previous, uh, what? Even in the previous level, I didn't really mean to. I, d I keep going back thinking that there's a second path that I didn't take, and then I get to the top and I'm going, well, I've got to take the teleporter. Saved us all some time. Oh, hello. Wish there was a way of breaking that down. No one's going to go fast, there's no point in that. So taking a leisurely stroll through this weird, freaky island made by this king guy who's a dick. Apparently. Can you stop? I'm trying to heal. No, I, I really need to heal there. There we go. These things just refuse to just not be in my face. I, I very much appreciate if they could just find the time or the the wherewithal, so to speak, uh, to just not be there. Wall hacksing, aimbotting, 
and all the other things that will get you kicked off my Unreal Tournament server. Anyone want to play UT? By the way, like proper 99 original Unreal Tournament. I'm up for it. I haven't played it for years. I've been playing the new Unreal Tournament a little bit because it's currently in very... I don't even know if it's in beta. It's almost in alpha stage right now. Um, it's reminiscent, but it's not as good. Is this better? I think it might be a considerably better. And I'm a little bit tired of the sandals having no range. Otherwise, I'm quite, kind of okay with them. They're not as um, underpowered as I was given the impression that they might be. I can see that. How do we get in there? Probably like this. I kept a gardener's key and got a moonflower key. I didn't mean to do that. Can we go back down, please? <laughs> Hello. Right, what does this do? I am discovering things and now I'm happy. If this run dies in the next 10 minutes, I will be okay, provided we figure out what this key is for. No spoilers. Well, I mean, you can spoil me now because you're watching that and I've already finished the game again with the weird chronodynamics of the situation. Whoa. I, um, leave me alone. Uh, basically, what I'm saying to you now, as we know, is in the past, so feel free to say things that happened in the future, but at the same time, um, say things that should have happened to, in the future, which to you is now, but to me is still the future, you crazy future people. Um, Feel free to tell me what this key does, but at least watch to the end of the episode to find out if I discover what the key does so that you don't just... It's fine, okay? Just chill. Give me five minutes. Let's see what happens. If I die before I figure out what this key does, leave a comment chiding me for dying before I find out what the key does and also telling me what the key does. I saw that. I thought it was a, not... I thought it was a, a rune. I wanted a challenge rune. So yeah, honestly, there's many other games. We don't have to play Isaac, and we don't have to play Dead Cells, and we don't have to play Gungeon. I don't want an 18 second cooldown, that's just silly. We can play many other things, and there are other things on the list. We will be playing Isaac, I've decided, when the new expansion comes out. I'm going to try not to have it, someone's groaning on the other side, uh, collide with Dead Cells or take over Dead Cells. Hello? No answer. Get out of here, you freak. Leave me alone. He gave me a drumstick. Does that normally happen? Do sometimes you give me a live bomb or something? I appreciate the drumstick because I didn't want to use my Estes flask again if I didn't have to. So I haven't found a door that this could go in though. I was hoping it was that. I'm guessing it'll be a, a sideward store rather than a um, you know a, a front on door because it'll be blocking our flow rather than being in the background so man don't block my throat don't block my flow I don't just because words and talking it's late at night I'm an old man should have been a bed at 8 o'clock come on in Yep, that's how you get the dog to come back in the house. She gets freaked out, but let's have some decent amount of HP in this. Uh, she gets freaked out by other dogs barking when we're outside, even if she can't see it. I'm wondering if this is that extra skill that I need that Halcyon mentioned in a very long time ago episode, because all the other episodes were a very long time ago, except the previous one, which of course you've watched, and you know how well I did. I, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, so I'm going to call that uh, fair's fair, right? You've hit me in ways that I don't know how I got hit, and you have not hit me in ways that I don't know how I didn't get hit. Although, as a developer of, of software, I very much don't like things I don't understand working anyway, so can we not have this be a thing? And of course you brought me down here. Ooh, there's more. It, it, one of the two of them did describe Dead Cells as one long corridor. I understand there's a linear nature to Dead Cells that is not so appealing um, to many people. But, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's that much different from Isaac or something like that, because... I don't... 
I just don't agree. <laughs> That's the only thing. I don't have much more in the defense of either. You know, I, I don't like Dead uh, No, I don't like Gungeon as much as Dead Cells because I'm not as good at it, and that's as simple as that. Uh oh. Nice. I was worried for a minute. Phew. I was worried for a second. Damage you take. Take gold. I don't know. They're the same except for the 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 modifiers. Do I prefer the? I think I prefer the burn. I don't really need the gold. Let's sell this. I got a lot of gold just from selling it. That's probably as much as I would have earned from it in the first place. I just froze. I was trying to time everything and nothing happened instead of me getting it right, which is obviously much worse. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I said hello, but it came out as hella, but I kind of prefer hella. Just because it's a non sequitur. Or non sequiturs, as my parents. D A E, by the way. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about whenever I say things, don't worry about it. Uh, you don't have to. I don't want this. DAE, which means does anybody else know what DAE means? No. Oh, we've all got burning tabs. Interesting. I think we keep what we've got. And the reason I say that is that I want to. Um. Like parents, I don't know if this is a parents thing because I already make dad jokes and I'm never going to be a dad, right? But come back, let me go. There we go. Um, they they use the wrong words, but only like one or two. It's not like that thing where you know you become an uncle, so your job is to teach the kid that cabbage means celery or something like that. They. They say things that they think are funny, but I'm starting to realise that dad jokes are irrelevant to the fact that the dad has a kid, uh, is a father, right? I don't think there's anything I can do here except just this. <laughs> Bye! Pretty sure there's nothing over there. I don't see a glinty thing. Yeah. Um, Where is this door, by the way? Can we have the door? The wrong word for a thing is rude, <laughs> okay? My mum used to say casting nasturtiums instead of casting aspersions. I did not know that the phrase was casting aspersions until very recently in the grand scheme of things. Not like last week sort of recently, but at the same time, it, in sort of a uh, length of life sort of big picture sort of scenario, it might as well have been last week that I learned the phrase casting aspersions <laughs> casting nasturtiums. Nasturtiums are a type of flower. I didn't know that, but my mum did because she gardens, she likes flowers, she makes them. <laughs> she makes them. She doesn't make them. I mean, I guess to some extent you could say that she does, but she's not making flowers, she's growing them. Um, but, like, cool. I didn't, my dad, my first girlfriend's dad would say cretin instead of cretin, which in America is kind of how you say it anyway, because you speak wrong, but he said it in England, cretin is someone from Crete, and cretin is an idiot, right? And my dad liked the word cretin because it's what he liked to call people on the roads when we were driving. I might as well take this. So, that's because everyone on the road is a cretin, by the way. Um, it's a really good word for people. It's a word that perfectly suits drivers, I think. I, I do like it. Um, but her dad would say cretin. I was like, why did you why did you say cretin? She had no idea that the word was cretin. Um, I think I was fine, I was behind you, so you don't get to do that. Run away. Jump, jump now, jump now. Help. Um, I'm sure my dad had similar things. I can't, I can't think off the top of my head, but like, right. Pay attention to this fight. You can't talk and do this fight yet. Out of ammo, get me ammo back. 
you bastard. The problem with this is that my best damage dealer is, uh, no, help, uh, this bow, <laughs> which is no fun because the bow involves being very close to the enemy. Also, if I make you bleed, I can do more damage to you. So, get that going. Help. No, not how it works. Let me do that. Then we do that. Then we do that. Now getting close to this Joker is even more dangerous than it was before. And then you jump, and then we roll. So, yeah. Let me... DAE, and then give me your anecdotes. Wow. You know what I was saying about this fight being easier when you don't have to scum it up. Or rather, me being at the stage where I don't have to scum up this fight to make it easy. Yeah, what happened to that, huh? Basically, scumming up this fight involves holding him down. Stop! The thing is, when you get one hit in, you get another hit in. And I don't want to be that guy, but that seems to me like just a bad design, okay? The enemy should not be able to get two hits in in a row because you are fucked from the first one by the second one. Never figured out what that key did. So there's me being all, you know, la -de da this concierge is nothing to me now. Nah, still difficult. Well, okay, I'm going to put my controller down. Take, God, take a breath. Chill, it's just a game. I do think that the stun locks that you're getting in this game are a little bit silly. Um, but just don't get in them. You know how the concierge works. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Play better. I was talking. I wasn't playing. I was talking. I'm not at the stage of this game yet where I can talk instead of playing. So maybe don't go on about, you know... By the way, the word for that is a... Uh, I was going to say malapropism. Is it a malapropism? I think so. A malapropism is when you use a word that sounds like the word that you wanted, but it isn't the word that you wanted. It's a different word. Most people do it on purpose, but they're not funny when you're a kid. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to put my Dr. Pepper down. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I do hope that you will join me for the next one, and will join me in whatever series I choose to record next. Actually, I'm, I've been bitten by the buggy. It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to go and start a new video. Uh, it's always going to be a new video uh, on a new series, and I'll decide what game it will be in a minute. But until then, I hope to see you in that, and I hope to see you in the next one of these. Thank you for watching, and good day! Roll.